Well, the developments on the arms embargo happened exactly nine years since the revolution started. Charles Stratford has more from Libya. Mr. Arthur is very important in terms of the history of the revolution. Um, it's deemed that the fighters here were the main fighting force against pro-Gaddafi forces. They lost a lot of men here. Around 3,000 uh, fighters were killed in that fight. They've also lost a lot of men in the subsequent fight against ISIL in 2000, from 2016 onwards. That fight now effectively won, so the GNA says here, disputed by Hafta. Um, so of huge significance to this city, um, the celebration of this revolution. I spoke to some people here earlier. One man said that this was highly symbolic. He said when asked about the kind of turbulence that this country is enduring at the moment, what's being described as a civil war, and I asked him, you know, does this celebration have any real significance when we're losing civilian lives, people are being killed, and around, according to the 150,000 the UN saying have been displaced, what is there to celebrate? He said this is a celebration to show, um, to show support against those that are enemies of democracy, very much a, a, a finger being pointed at Hafta. Many people here see him as basically being the equivalent of Gaddafi, and of course Gaddafi overthrown in that revolution eventually in 2012. So a very big day for people here in Misrata, and as we've been seeing earlier today, a very big day in Tripoli, despite the horrific crisis, the war that this country is enduring right now.